Prof X is a vampire. He's a vampire. Him and Groot Matthew. I believe that they know what they know the game that they are playing. That, uh, sir, I don't believe that the child is actually missing. Based on the conversation, the mother of the child was conversing with me because she was not talking like a mother whom a child is missing. So I don't believe that there is anything like a missing child. It's just a make-up story between them and their group. I knew that his intention is to continue to back up all his, his scandals and all what he has been saying. So I did it not because I really wanted him to do so. I did it because I wanted to come out as I'm now talking that he contacted me. He did. So that people know that all what he's saying, they are make-up stories. I wanted to ask, that uh, precious Lungu, uh, Abi Lunga, Abi, what is her name in Nigeria, can, how, can I think we can uh, uh, write a petition and, and harass that woman. First thing first. That woman should be called for questioning. What is she doing in Nigeria? What no, is her purpose in Nigeria? Bro, bro. Uh, bro. Kisley, no, she came for a program. Bro, no, 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 it's not a program. Now, let me tell you one thing. I, I said the other day, she was in the front line, only the mic, only her phone, in, uh, putting her phone in the mouth of God's law. Now, in, in, in the, in, as a journalist or in the, in the, in, as a journalist, or when it comes to this journalism, you cannot record any any criminal or anybody being arrested as a civilian. When you don't have the right or you don't have the license as a journalist or as a police detective. So who is she that will stand in the front of the camera recording a criminal that just came out from the, from the, from the front of the, from, from the court now that is a question we need to ask our our journalism. That is a question we need to ask our police. That is a question we need to ask our lawmakers. Have they changed the law? Is it that any civilians can go and hold his phone and record anybody that has been judged or been uh, 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 reminded to prison from the court? Uh, when it's so that is why I said that woman should be called to be asked questions. She should be arrested or she should be called for questioning to ask her who is she. What is her feed? Are you a detective? Are you a lawyer? Are you a journalist? These are the four questions you need to be asked. The issue cannot give the police a concrete answer. Then she should be arrested. Because as I am, Brother Godwin, Brother Solomon, I cannot go to a court here in Spain where a, 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 a criminal is being judged and being brought out mm. when the journalists and televisions are, are asking questions then me i will just go there i'm not from that country i will just go there with my phone and put it in the mouth of this person recording the conversation or the, the testimony of a criminal who are you and what gave you that audacity to do it these are the things we need to be asking we should not be shy and be, uh, be shy, or, shy away from this or, or from these questions and this truth the woman, that woman has to be called for questioning. Who are you? Except that was not a court. Except that was just a backyard of Mercy Land, Mercy yeah. City. That is Except that was not a police station. If that place was a police station, a court, that woman don't have any right. When you are not a, a journalist, you are not a detective, you are not a police, you don't have any right to hold your phone and record any testimony from any criminal. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So the biggest question that most people have containing this lady called um, Precious Lungo, is where is she coming from? When did she actually start mixing and mingling and um, working or affiliating herself to a motor for fame? As far as we have her history, the first proof of her involvement with a motor for fame was back in 2019. Let me put this poster through for you so that most of you who had not gotten... Uh, grips of this uh, of this poster of an event which she held in 2019, 10 days after baby testimony was kidnapped in April, on the 26th of April 2019. Check this poster out. There are one or two things I want us to, to point out before I make you listen. 
to the other conversation concerning Precious Lungu. And before you even look at this poster, I forgot to make a commentary of the video that you have already watched. The video that you have watched here, it will also be included in the analysis or the commentary you are going to listen after. People were asking, what was Precious Lungu's role? Even in the case of God love, how did Precious Lungu have access to go and interview with her phone? To start interviewing God's love and recording God's love giving a testimony. Remember, God's love is a criminal. He has been, he had been declared a criminal by the court in Wari or Delta State after he was convicted or after all those charges were laid on him of trying to extort or doing whatever that whatever counts that they come up with, which we do not even know about right now. No one knows where God's love is. It's a case that they just muzzled and then they swept under the carpet because they couldn't achieve what they wanted to achieve. So most of you, you, you are still catching us now. You don't know where this is coming from. We are coming from a long, long way. And Omoto has tried all his best. Hence you see him frustrated as he is right now, giving threats to everyone, trying to say, I'll arrest everyone, I'll do this, and all that is doing it so that he can protect this precious Lungu girl. Because if this precious Lungu is left unprotected, she's going to spill all the beans. Do you see her involvement in almost everything? On this interview of God's love, she's there with the phone. Is she a media personality? Who is she interviewing a criminal? God love is a criminal at that point. Which media house is she representing? In what capacity is she holding a phone, interviewing God love and recording God love? Which means she has clearance to everything. If she's not part of the, or if she's not also a mastermind of this whole project that they were trying to use God's love to do. These are just things I want you to put a finger on. So that you know that Precious Lungu is a masterpiece of this whole equation. Of this whole game. This is probably Jeremiah Omoto's front girl. Who does all the dirty for Jeremiah Omoto for fame. For her to fly all the way from Zambia to come and uh, be involved in this case of God love and attend the court and be the one that will come and tell the world, tell people that, listen, those pictures are out of baby testimony. That boy is actually from Cameroon. She even mentioned, if you listened carefully, if you didn't, you can revisit that video and listen again. She even said that, I saw this boy in the house. Which house was she referring to when she was trying to to compare the similarities between the alleged baby testimony and the baby brother of the alleged baby testimony. He was saying they look alike. I saw them in the house. I was with them in the house. Most of you might have missed it, but she mentioned it. You know, Precious Lungu, she's, she's chacharachi. She's all over. She can say a lot of things in one statement that exposes her, that put her out on the open. The same way we've gotten to the realization that Precious Lungu was indeed one of the women who was used to abduct baby testimony, who was used to trick Sister Ruth Matthew. Now who we want to find out now, who is the other woman that they used, that precious Lungu was with? So in that video she was saying, she's there, interviewing God's love. In what capacity, we don't know. Was she an investigator? We don't know. Was she under the umbrella of the law enforcement of Nigeria? We don't know. Who exactly, what role really was she playing, interviewing a suspect? So I want you to take, I want to take you back again to the poster that I wanted to show you, which was back in 2019 when she held her first event under the banner of, um, of Messiland. And we all know that Messiland is Jeremiah Omoto's, uh, is Jeremiah Omoto's shrine. It was still called Christ, Christ Messiland Deliverance Ministries. And this event was held um, on the 26th of April, 2019. And remember, on the 26th of April was merely 10 days after baby testimony was abducted. Baby testimony was abducted on the 15th of April, 2019. 10 days later, Precious Lungu is hosting a, an event. Where was she hosting this event? And I want you to zoom this poster so that we can establish the roots of, uh, of Precious Lungu. If you zoom in this poster, you'll see at the very, very corner there, at the very, very bottom, it is written, host speaker, anointed international woman of God, 
prophetess Precious Mwape. At this time, she was not yet called Precious Lungu. At this time, she was still Precious Mwape. So what I want us to look at, at, to look at is, is the Lungu came after she got married. Because if she was still Precious Mwape in 2019, Chances of her having four kids between 2019 and 2022 are very slim. Do you remember that video when Precious Lungu came and then she said she has two, four children? Do you remember? I've got children, I've got four children at my, at my home. I've got children, I've got four children at my, at my home. The reason why I want us to connect these dots and the reason why I'm bringing up this, so that we can do the comparison of Precious Lungu's first name and Precious Lungu's last name. It's quite clear that in 2019, Precious Lungu was not yet called Lungu. Lungu might have came after she got married or after she got herself affiliated to another man, to a man, if I should say. Which means around this time when she was hosting this event, she was still called Prophetess Precious Mwape. And the Facebook that she was using back in the day, it was not Precious Mwape actually. It was um, Mwape Grass. There are so many funny things about, um, about Lungu. If you look at Mwape Grass here, there's a picture of Precious Lungu again. And the name to this Mwape, to this Mwape Grass is Precious Lungu. So she probably has several accounts that she administers. If you zoom in the profile picture of this profile of Mwape Grass, you can see his precious Lungu and that other woman. I don't know if you people, you're not getting confused right now. You are getting mixed up with all the names. Okay, for now, let's forget about this Facebook profile that I've just introduced to you. But this Facebook profile is for precious Lungu, the precious Lungu that you know today. But during this time, at this stage, she was still called Mwape Grass. I want you to keep in touch with the Mwape surname. Mwape is her actual surname. From her biological mother and biological father. That's why on this poster she was called Precious Mwape. Grace might be her second name. But Lungu is a name that came after she got married. So the reason why I want us to connect these dots is for us to put figures and numbers into consideration. In 2019, when baby Testament was abducted and she was still called Prophetess Mwape before she became Prophetess Precious Lungu. Did she have a child already? Did she have kids already with Mr. Lungu? We don't know when Mr. Lungu came into the picture, but he definitely came after 2019 or around 2019. If he indeed came in 2019, could they have made a child already? If they did make a child around 2019, which means in 2020, their first child was one year old. That is if Precious Lungu did not have kids already. If they did make children together with this man, with this particular man, which means in 2019, 2020, around 2020, she had a child who was a year old, not even a year old. She was probably pregnant from that time up to the end of 2020. And from 2020, could, they, could she have had another child again in 2020 while she still had an infant? Well, she said she has four children. When did she start calling herself Precious Lungu? Sometime in 2020, 2021. That's when she became a Lungu. These dots might not be easy for you to connect at this premature stage. But I just want you to, let me just keep it shallow like this. In 2019, she was still Precious Mwape, according to this poster. She was still called Prophetess Precious Mwape. In that video that she did, okay, in this video that she did, she said she has four children. She actually first said she has two, but then she remembered, oh, two. If I'm going to be investigated, they'll find four. So she changed and then she said she has four. So according to her, she has four children. So putting in the time frame between 2019 and 2022, 2019 she was still called Precious Mwape, 2022 she's called Precious Lungu. So the marriage would have taken place in between this time frame. So could she have beard four children? And how old are the kids? 
that uh, precious Mwape, precious Lungu have up to date. So those are some of the figures that she can never manipulate, that she will not be able to manipulate. What we are doing here is putting everything on the table. I'll put another episode before they end, which will clear quite a lot of air and which will bring more, more clarity to the involvement of Precious Lungu in this case of abduction of baby testimony. But for now, I'll leave you considering this and analyzing these few facts that I've just brought to your attention concerning Precious Lungu's identity and her involvement and how far deep she is involved in this case of the abduction of baby testimony. So that's the curiosity that everybody has. But that curiosity will soon be fulfilled because we are getting there. No wonder. Don't be shaken when you see Jeremiah Omoto shaking. That man is shaking. And he's at a stage whereby he's willing to fight for Precious Lungu. He wants to defend Precious Lungu. Precious Lungu, as we speak, is the, is, 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 she's her weakest link. She's her weakest link. If she breaks, necessity is down. Omoto for Fane is finished. So as we wait for him to come to South Africa, according to his promise, Let's keep on digging deeper. Let's keep on pulling the trigger on Precious Lungu. Precious Mwape, Grace, whatever. I hope these few doubts make sense to you. And just keep on thinking about Precious Lungu. Zambians, I know you're doing the most. We're going to get her. After we get uh, Precious Lungu, we will get baby testimony. Guaranteed. With that being said, it's Mr. Pull the Trigger. I'm out.